Rumors aren't going to stop. Doesn't matter how much longer the regular season goes into the postseason, especially if we have a scenario where the Sixers are actually going to play the Cavs in the first round. But LeBron James comes out and now has whittled it down to four teams, the Sixers being one of these four teams, Lakers, the Rockets, and of course the Cavs are there. Let me just ask you point blank. What's your gut tell you? Zero, nah, no way in hell it's happening. Ten, it's a lock, he's coming here. Where are you at right now with the idea that, and I see your face, yeah. that LeBron could be a Sixer? I'm, I'm, I'm at, if, if, if ten is a lock, I'm like a three or a two or three. Oh, like, not so. No, I'm, I'm I, like, I, 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 what, I, mean, I think everybody wants LeBron. Every, I mean, every, every team wants LeBron. I mean, I, I just, I, I think it's kind of funny that a player that's currently signed on the Cavs roster is saying that, or even lets <laughs> out that I whittled it down to four teams. Right. One is the one that I'm going out and play for tonight, uh -huh. um, and three other guys. I mean, I think. If you're playing with him real quick, like, do you even say anything? Because at the same uh, time, it's LeBron. Right? I probably would say something, but as his friend, I'll certainly say something. But, I mean, he's LeBron. Like, we so go get 30 and 10. But I'm like used to this at this point. Yeah, this guy just, that's his deal. was, you know, even before he left Cleveland and Miami, two years before that, yeah. it was like, oh my God, LeBron's going to be a free agent in two years. Well, that's the, the same thing in Miami. That's the way in the NBA right now. I mean, you, you, a year or two before you're a free agent, the rumors are always circulating. You're always saying, okay, this team and that team, where does he fit? LeBron James fits on any team. Yep. He instantly makes any team better. Um, to bring him in Philly, just like any other city that he's talking about going to, that's a difference maker. That that, that makes you a championship contender. Um, LeBron, come to Philly. I mean, why not? I mean, come to Philly. Hey, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> like, why not? What, what's the biggest reason? Let me start. I, I think the biggest reason why he doesn't come here, and I think he loves Ben, he yeah. loves Joe, he loves the idea that this is the future of the NBA, and it could only be like a year and a half away mm -hmm. to where they truly are on billboards, not just in Philadelphia, but everywhere around the NBA, but the control aspect of it. I think that you've got three guys, technically you want to add Markel, but you've got three guys right now that are untouchable in Joel, Ben, and Dario that the organization doesn't want to part with. Lakers, Houston, Clippers, Bulls, they can step in and say, all right, man, you build a roster. If you want to move somebody on this team, go ahead. And here, he's, he doesn't have that much flexibility, and I think that's the biggest issue for LeBron is that he wouldn't get that control in Philly that he might get somewhere else. Well, I think, Dar, I mean, I, I, I agree with you with Ben and, and B. I think Dario, if LeBron comes, I mean, sorry. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, but, no, but that's, that's, that's the only thing that matters, matters right? right? I, I just think if you put that type of guy on his team, obviously it's a different team. And, and now, as you watch LeBron mature, I, I think having control is a big part of it having the ability to say, okay, I want J.R. Smith with right. me too. He's part of this deal too, or whatever the next guy is. I certainly think he wants that type of control, but every star is gonna want some type of control. So no matter who they bring here, he's gonna want some type of control. And I, I think you also have to be very, very careful who you bring in with these young studs that right. you have. You have to be very, very careful who you bring in with Ben and Embiid. Um, it's a certain type of player. I, I, you know, if, if I'm LeBron, I don't wanna play with a post player. I, mean, I just don't. His, part of his biggest part of his game is getting to the basket. It's hard to do that when you have somebody that's sitting in the lane because yeah. that's his position. What about thirty, what three or thirty-four year old LeBron yeah. kind of morphing more into a stretch four and letting Maybe. Ben and, and Joel kind of carry him? Yeah, I mean that's a possibility. I, I just, but that's also saying next year that he's willing to take that step right. back. Yeah, that's, right. a, that's a big. That's a big thing in someone's career. He's almost not at that point yet. Like, like Jordan Wizard mode, he's not there. No, he's, he's actually not, not showing a single yeah. sign. Yeah. He's, 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 he's not scary. He's the right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, just, I, don't, I don't know that this team is built exactly the way that I see LeBron going in the future. Right. But at the same time, you look at the young talent around the NBA. If you add LeBron, it, it kind of makes it hard to stop this team. Jeff had a great comparison, and I'll let him ask it. But you're perfect for this because. The arrival of LeBron to the Philadelphia 76ers would be akin to like Moses coming in the 80s mm -hmm. and your former teammate mm -hmm. coming back in 2004. And that's what we were talking about. Just, I remember what the city was like, and so do you, when T.O. came here. Yeah. It was the guy getting you over the proverbial hump, right? Mm -hmm. Who would have known that the guy who got him over the hump? I mean, T.O. was not there. He was right in front of right. us, but thank God. Oh, right. Thank God for that, right? <laughs> But like you remember a training camp, right? Yeah. From 
several thousand to almost 10,000 people, right? LeBron coming to Philly, visualize that. What's that like compared to T.O. coming to Philly? Well, I mean, T.O. was the best receiver in the game. LeBron is the best athlete in the world. In the planet, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, that's, <laughs> you're going from great to greatness. I mean, yeah. that's hard to even describe that. And, and as good as T.O. was and the, the vibe and the, the feel around T.O. coming to Philly and that training camp atmosphere, LeBron would be 10 times that because he's that guy. Um, I mean, it, it would be awesome. It would be great to see for our city. It kind of would also mark as our city could change the, the, the corner, change, turn the page mm -hmm. as far as in football. They're also doing that in basketball. You see the progression. You see these young guys coming together. Hopefully, folks will come on <laughs> and be able to play at some point and add some things on the floor. But if you eat, if we, anytime you add that type of talent, everyone's going to be excited about it. And the expectations go from 45 wins to to win it, 60, right? so, I mean, there's, yeah, there's, 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 there's no doubt about that. And so it's a, it's a different world. I, I think LeBron is built for those types of expectations. Um, it would be good to see if our team can kind of handle it. Yeah, and I think that it's it's interesting to look at where you guys were as a team. Because yeah. you, you had a good team. And this was, like you said, put you over the top. Right. But it's not like a Sixers squad who's kind of hovering at like maybe six to eight in that realm. And now you're saying, okay, automatic, just because LeBron. You guys were actually closer, I think, to where the Sixers are now, right? Before T.O. gets here? I think that as a team, we were much better than what the Sixers are. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's not yeah, even yeah, close, yeah. but you know, here's my true feeling about the Sixers. I think if they go find someone that can play the, the three, that can get you 25 a night, they'll be hard to stop. And you might not even need LeBron at that point. I'm not but saying that. I mean, you always need <laughs> someone. I feel like you're almost saying that if you're Brian Colangelo and you have an opportunity to get either LeBron or Kawhi, which is also, if you read the report, oh, yeah. somewhat realistic, you go Kawhi. Uh, you're crazy if you don't go Kawhi. Though. Well, it depends on the length yeah. of the term, right? Yeah. Yeah. So one year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I mean, obviously they're both going to be, you know, players who are going to get all the money in the world. They're going to continue to do their thing, but. I don't, I don't know that Kawhi is the answer either. I just know that both of any, you can't go wrong with either one of those guys, but can you get another guy that's six, seven, that can give you 25 a night, that can just give you those types of, I mean, that's what you need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And LeBron's a ball dominant guy. He's not playing defense in, in anywhere close that he used to, um, but still can do it. I, I, again, you have to be very careful. These young kids are at the beginning of their career and things sometimes get a little crazy when you bring that type of talent that has been proven to, to, to get things done in the league. And I don't think LeBron is a disrupt, disruptive guy, but you never, have, you never know how things work sometimes. You never thought that we could have this conversation. I love this conversation. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, not, not just today yeah. in general, but yeah. just like the last, what, since Iverson was here. Right, right, right. What, what we ever, ever it think about a took one year, to have a half a year, right? They were yeah. terrible for so long, Tanky, and then all of a sudden this year, a couple of guys stay healthy, that's they're it. actually pretty good, and now we're talking about LeBron. That's it. I mean, <laughs> I, I think that's what this city has always want to be a contender. And you, you kind of see it in football, too, a little bit with the Bennett trade. Guys want to come here now. Yeah. When you start bringing stars here, you start yeah. seeing Ben do his thing, you see guys see how his ability to create for other players and then be just being able to move around and block out inside outside game be able to dominate the game from the post there's other guys around the league that are shooters are like listen if i was on that team and b draws a double team everybody collapses on ben if i was there i would give him 25 a night yep. easily yep. and you don't need just a shooter you need a guy that can slash get to the hoop all those types of things but um at this point in our city Football and basketball in particular, guys want to come play with these young players. Absolutely. They want to come play with Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson. They see right. what they've done offensively. They want to come play with Ben and the beat. And that's an exciting part because we went through a stretch where nobody wanted to come here for a long time. And now I feel like our city has a little bit more energy. It's true. It's so true. And, and that's that's the biggest difference. And I would guess just as we wind down that it's a draw. That if you're looking at the Eagles and the money's right, mm -hmm. and you know that you've got Carson, or if you're a defensive player, you know that you've got Jim in the scheme. Yeah. To, to have what maybe again, it's not the main reason. It's not like a recruit choosing a college because they've got you know uh, a Hardys or versus not in the cafeteria. Right. But you know, Sixers doing something that might be some, or a free agent coming in here to play black basketball might look and say, man, that team just won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm across the street. Mm -hmm. it, it could just be a little bit of a difference. You could have no, seen that Jason Kelsey's speech and felt like that's the type of place where I want to be. There's no yeah. doubt about it. That's that's what happens. I mean, you just look at the success these teams have had, that happens. Good players follow that and 
Um, it's an exciting time to be in the city. Mr. Legend, Brian Westbrook, B. West in the House, Sports Shop, our location.